Hello and welcome to My Security TV and our Tech and Sec Weekly. This is our Tuesday afternoon edition and today we cross to Israel and the founder and CEO of Camiro Tech, uh, Amir Biri. And we're going to look at the Zava long range system. This thing will see through walls at 100 metres. So looking forward to getting an insight uh, into this technology. And it's the first of a number of Israeli techs uh, that uh, interviews that we're going to be doing in, as part of an Israeli tech series. Without further ado, I'm going to bring on Amir Biri, who's been waiting patiently. Amir, thank you very, Amir, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, good morning. Very good. Now, it, it all sounding good. We had a few technical issues at the start, but it looks like you've got yourself all sorted. Amir, introduce us to Kimiro Tech, and thanks to Yale for uh, for organising the interview. I've not obviously not met you before, but uh, I don't know a lot about ISR through wall imaging systems either. So talk us through, and you're the founder and CEO. Yeah, talk us through what you've got. Yeah. So uh, we just recently launched a new saver, uh, long range. Um, and maybe to give the context uh, of our family of saver products to see through walls, um, I would like to share a few slides uh, that shows, um, just a minute. So I've got your slide up. We can see your slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some technical problems. I, I also love your slide. Okay. Beautiful. So um, we are in this business of through wall imaging for almost 17 years now. Um, and we have a family of products that can give different type of information of what happens beyond the wall from a very small and, and, and the handheld device for the single user that can get uh, basic information if there is anything, anyone in the other side of the wall or not, if it's empty or not, how far is the object and more, uh, through a location device that give, give you the location of several objects and uh, static uh, obstacles like the internal walls and layout up to a full 3D imaging, uh, which come with the Saver 800. All these works up to 20 meters. And uh, so all these uh, can work now up to uh, 20 meters um, when the system can be attached to the wall or can work in standoff. And there is uh, many options with these uh, devices. It can work also through ceilings and floors. It can pass through multiple walls, including massive walls. It's very sensitive to very small movements like breathing that we cannot see with our naked eye, just the vital life movements, and more and more and more. But all is limited to about 20 meters. Right. Uh, what is new with the new device, uh, device and we will switch to the more, more, uh, Okay, the new device is, is really a breakthrough because it can bring information from more than one, uh, 100 meters away from the building. This gives a lot of uh, new flexibility and options to the teams that are using it. And, uh, and I would like to share a, a short video that describes what it, what it is, the, the new Saver Long Range. And uh, we will go to this short video um, in, in one second.
So it can be more than 100 meters. It can be um, uh, more than that. And we can look from a very far distance uh, into the um, uh, target building and see what happens there. Um, um, we have a site because the beam uh, is, narrow, is very narrow. If the other uh, saver products are very wide beam, uh, 120 degrees, here it's a very narrow beam of five degrees. Um, and we can target exactly like, in a, like with a, a laser a, a, a direction to the desired building and just get information of what happens in the other side. And when you say what information, whether there's potential humans or sort of heat, heat traces in there? Yes, we, we, can, de we can detect live objects. <clears throat> we can detect a, a multiple live objects in the other side. We can know exactly if they are moving or not. We can see what are, are their exact distance, what are the distance between the objects, and just a, a ensure if it's empty or not, or if there is any activity inside. Um, so first we can see if it's empty or not. This is the most important and critical information in many cases. Then we can see how many, there is, how many people there are inside, uh, what is the exact distance to the objects, uh, they are moving or not, and what is the direction of movement. This is the most important uh, uh, information, uh, and we can uh, provide it in real time uh, in this distance. It's not a full imaging device like the Saver 800, which you can see real 3D imaging. Um, it's a, a more awareness of uh, what happens there inside, if it's empty or not, and uh, maybe how many people there are inside. And how stable does it? Obviously, it's standing on a on a stand there. It's quite quite large. How stable does that need to be? How long does it take uh, to get its images and and get that intelligence? It's immediate. It, it it's it's really real time. Um, the installation is is maybe one minute. Uh, you just put the system on a tripod. The system should be completely stable. Um, as uh, we are looking for a very small movement, the uh, same as in the other syst uh, saver system, we can um, uh, detect static live object and still detect their vital life movement like uh, breathing. Um, so the system itself should be extremely uh, uh, stable. Um, and that's it, we are putting it uh, generally on a tripod. Uh, there are some other applications uh, where the system can be installed on vehicle, uh, but then uh, when uh, uh, observing the, sy the, the system should be stable. Um, can you try you putting it on a drone? No, no, no. It's, um, we have some other applications of through wall imaging on drones, but not for this system. Um, generally, this should be located on a, a tripod, uh, looking from a, with a site directing the beam to the building and just seeing in real time what happens there inside. Very nice. Uh, so this is the system. Okay. Um, well okay. Uh, the users are generally uh, military users, law enforcement, search and rescue, and some intelligence uh, uh, units. Um, many different applications from anti-terror, urban combat, anti-narcotic, and more and more and more. Um, most um, uses are the same for all other um, saver product when you can see uh, what happens inside, um, but just a minute, um, and it gives you a, a lot of benefits. First, it's, it's much more safe to uh, observe from such a distance. Um, if we are speaking about hostile situation, you can be far away from this uh, uh, hostile uh, situation or dangerous location. Uh, from fire explosive or collapsed uh, structures if it's for search and rescue. 
uh, of course, once you are far away from the um, uh, from the object, uh, you can work undercover. Uh, you can run much more effective and speed up everything um, and be in a safe location. So this is the big benefit of a, such a long range if we compare it to the more tactical devices which working on the wall itself or up to 20 meters from the wall. And are they on the same platform, on the same sort of display platform that you have or are they individual devices operating on their own? The, the, there, there is a common basis. Um, we are using our sensor is actually ultra wideband. We're working with ultra wideband signal, very wide bandwidth in relatively low frequency that enables us in one side uh, to be able to penetrate walls in, uh, effectively. In the other way, uh, we can get the needed resolution and sensitivity. Uh, this is common to all cyber products. The, short range and long range. Um, the long range is the last product is um, more modern. The platform, the user interface is uh, more modern, uh, but the basics are the same. The basics are the same. And these are available now, I, I take it worldwide? Yes, it's already, distributors? yes, yes. The system is already available. It's already in use, although very, uh, it's very new. Uh, all other products are widely used in today in 50 countries all over the world in all continents um, for, for, for several years already. Yeah, very good. And what else is in the pipeline for you? Keep developing these? Is it a, a matter of getting more yes, accurate yeah. devices or from further distance away? <laughs> Uh, we are continuously devel developing our um, server family. Um, I can tell you that just this long range uh, is one of the first uh, product of the long range devices with um, it going to include different size of antennas uh, to different um, distances. Um, uh, for more customized or, or, or specific needs of customers. Um, and we have many other ideas. Today, more and more uh, the devices are based on artificial intelligence, on deep learning, the system. We teach the system how to detect uh, uh, automatically, more efficiently and more accurately. Uh, so this is continuously developed continuously develop. That's an interesting one in terms of what it's seeing. So there's less sort of user uh, sort of interface and that 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 the system's telling them what they're seeing already, because sometimes it might be True. a blurred, blurred image or uh, it might not be clear, but the system will understand what it is first. True, true. As, as, as it's based on a, actually a radar, a radar imaging, uh, it's not like visual imaging. And as much as we uh, enter more smart uh, processing inside, the system can help the user to interpret automatically and understand better and get better awareness of what happens there inside. Very good. And, and obviously, uh, there'd be other types of devices that would be getting used as well to either verify uh, or to contribute to that intelligence. So yeah, it's very, true, it's a true. powerful piece of technology, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. I think it already saved a lot of life and we are very proud of that, uh, both for military use and law enforcement and search and rescue to detect people under rubble, for example. Yeah, right. So uh, it, it's, it's really it works in the field for, years now and, and save life and, and um, I think the teams are using it very effectively. Great. Well, so thank you so much, uh, Amir Biri, the founder and CEO of Camiro Tech there in Israel. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting. Thank you, Amir. I'll put you backstage. Bye.